Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Domahina. Hello, if you're new here, I make fitness content, lifestyle content, and everything in between, and I hope you subscribe. So in today's video, I'm so excited, I can't even talk. We are going dress shopping. We're going wedding dress shopping today, and I am super excited. My friends are coming in town right now. Uh, my sister's meeting us there. Uh, Stefan's meeting us there. Yeah, we just have a lot going on this morning. I've been scrambling. I took out my hair last night, my braids last night, and I threw on this wig today, and this wig has not been wigging. Okay, it's just not been doing what it needs to do for me. I've been stressing and sweating, okay? I just put my hair like this. I don't even care anymore. Um, I was gonna try to wear it down. Don't care, don't care, don't care. But yeah, we're going to this bridal boutique called Blue Bridal Blue. <laughs> Blue Bridal Boutique here in Austin. That's hard to say. And yeah, I can't wait. I'm wearing white. I didn't plan on wearing white. I was planning on wearing this really cute jumpsuit. So yeah, my friends were like, why aren't you wearing white? And I was like, um, I didn't think about that actually. So I threw this together. This is one of my work shirts, honestly. This is from Abercrombie and Fitch, this shirt is. And then this skirt is from Beachy Dolls. I need to clear off some space on this SD card and then wear some shoes and then head out because the appointment's in 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes now, so. Ah! I'm so excited. So, um, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Still on in to the vlog? No. You got so many battles you don't need to fight. Feel it with you every time it isn't feeling right. I wish I could take your pain. I could take your pain. Dealing with some things I've never seen in life. I like it. I wish it was a little. I guess more. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do. Yeah. 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 Y
days And I hear some better times That's for me, no It's only yours to have I'll trade you so it's a couple of days later, it's about almost two weeks since I went dress shopping. I did say yes to the dress, yay! I'm super excited, I'm so excited. Like when you say yes to the dress, like it just feels like real. Like I look at my dress every single day, I look at the pictures of it every single day. Like I, I love my dress, I love her so much. I wanted to come on here and kind of like give like tips for anyone who is, you know, going dress shopping soon, anyone who's newly engaged. So you're engaged, you're planning a wedding, congratulations. I am so excited for you and your fiance. This is a special time. It's so fun, like it's so stressful, but it's so fun. Like our wedding is in six months months. I feel like I'm going to miss this time a lot. I know like once it comes and goes, I'm going to be so sad. Michael and I got engaged um, July 18th, 2020. It's been about a year and two months since we got engaged and our wedding is six months away. I'm just really excited that like we got the dress. So the first bit of advice I would give to any bride looking for dresses is just to start with pinning things on Pinterest or bookmarking things on Instagram or screenshotting like just different dress designs that you really like. Hashtag anything that's related to weddings and just start like screenshotting or bookmarking different designs that you like. It doesn't matter about the price right now, doesn't matter about the designer right now, just look at the style of the dress. Figure out what styles that you're interested in. I know some people are like, I don't know what I want. I'm not sure. Uh, and I was the same way. I just did not know what was gonna look great on my body. But once you bookmark and like save or pin all the styles that you like, it's time to choose a budget, okay? So what are you wanting to spend on your dress? My budget was $2,500 and if I really, really love the dress, I didn't mind spending $3,000 on a dress. Everyone is different and no matter what your budget is, it is okay. If your budget is under $1,000, then that's fine. If your budget is under $500, that's fine. If your budget is $4,000, $5,000, $10,000, that is fine. Choose a budget that works for you, okay? Choose a budget that works for you. Everyone is different. So once you choose a budget and your style and all that good stuff, you want to start looking at different designers. Every designer has kind of like their niche in the wedding industry. There are so many designers that are boho, like really, really boho, like beach wedding boho. There are super like glam dress designers and then you have like the super clean and sleek designers. It's just a matter of like doing your research. After I researched and like followed a whole bunch of bridal shops on Instagram, I knew that I really wanted to try Essence of Australia, Made with Love dresses, and Emmy May is kind of like an extension of Made with Love, so I wanted to try their dresses as well. And I really loved Sarah Seven dresses as well. So those were the top four designers that I was pretty interested in and I made sure that they fell in the budget that I was wanting to stay around. The dress shop that I went to has like the designers that they carry and like the price ranges for those designers. And I was just prepared when I walked in. Sarah Seven's dresses start at like 2,600. And I think they go up to like $4,000. I was still interested in Sarah Seven, but I knew like that was going to be like kind of like a last resort. Like I didn't like the vibes of the other two. So now I'm gonna look at Sarah Seven. And if I had to choose a Sarah Seven dress, then I would have. You don't wanna fall in love with a dress that is way out of your budget. Like that's not a good feeling at all and I did not want that feeling for myself. For the most part when people go to a wedding like they see you come down the aisle they're like oh my god she's so beautiful she looks so gorgeous blah 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 but like right after the wedding like no one remembers the dress looks like. <laughs> Everyone will remember like celebrating the bride and groom celebrating y'all like you're going to look beautiful regardless okay so just don't stress yourself out about 
pricing and stuff like that. Stick with your budget and don't overspend if you don't have to, okay? So once you choose a list of designers, then you want to start looking at different bridal boutiques where you're going to go shopping at. There are several bridal boutiques in the country, obviously. One of my dreams, like, in the last like three years, I fell in love, 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 love with Lovely Brides. I know most people know about Lovely Brides. And I really wanted to go dress shopping at Lovely Brides. For the longest time I was saying like, I'm gonna get my dress at Lovely Brides. Like, I love Lovely Brides. <laughs> Lovely Brides is only located in Houston and Dallas. And there's no Lovely Brides here in Austin, unfortunately. And when I thought about it, I just knew that I did not want to purchase my dress in Houston or Dallas. When my dress gets here, like I wanna go pick it up ASAP, right? Like I wanna go pick it up, try it on, like I wanna have my dress like here, like now. So I started researching different bridal shops here in Austin. There's several, Blue Bridal Boutique, Blushed Bridal, Unbridled, like there's several. I ended up choosing Blue Bridal Boutique because when I went on the website, they had every single designer that I was interested in. Essence of Australia, Made with Love, Sarah Seven, all that good stuff. And on their website, they listed the price range too, which was so great. I called the shop, I asked them about their restrictions. Um, they told me I could only bring four people. Great, I got four people. I asked about payment and yeah, I set my appointment, told my friends, and then, then we went in. Definitely ask all the questions that you need to ask on the phone with them. Like ask them everything that you need to ask. Blue Bridal Boutique doesn't let you bring champagne, all that stuff. They don't let you bring any of that type of stuff, which was sad, but like, you know, you need to ask your boutique if you're allowed to bring drinks and stuff to the appointment. When I first got in, I signed some paperwork. She asked me my budget. I told her 10% under my actual budget. So I actually told her my budget was $2,100, I wanna say, or $2,200. Because whenever the stylist is picking dresses for you, Nine times out of 10, they're going to be choosing dresses on the higher end of your budget. So just be aware of that. I didn't mind if she chose dresses around 2,500, but I knew like after taxes and all that other stuff, I didn't want to go over that. I didn't really tell my friends my budget. Like there was a time where they picked out a really expensive dress for me to try on. I loved my stylist. She was very discreet with showing me how expensive the dress was, which is really nice of her. She was just like, I just wanted to show you this. And I was like, oh, okay and she's like do you still want to try it blah blah and I was like yeah I'll try it on blah 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 and it was no biggie right so your stylist is going to make sure that you are staying within budget okay when you go in try on what you need to try on try on the styles that you've been like yearning for try on the designers you've been yearning for some people try on 27 dresses some people try on 10 like i didn't try on that many dresses i stuck with like mermaid style i knew i wanted that like snatched look okay i didn't try on as many as i wish i would have try on as many dresses as you need to try on and if you have to come back and try on dresses by yourself definitely do that i liked going with people i loved going with my people because they helped with feedback I really enjoyed that and my sister recorded I really I, mean, I highly recommend recording because when you leave there you're going to forget everything pretty much when you leave there you're gonna forget everything so I highly recommend having someone come with you at least one person to record so many people in my job were like you took four people with you that's a lot oh my gosh my dog is so psycho that is a lot, however, like I really enjoyed going with my friends. Go with your friends and then after, go one time by yourself. One thing I liked about Blue Bridal Boutique is that like I think up to two or three of your appointments are free. And then after that you have to pay $50. Sleep on it if you have to. Don't feel like you have to purchase your dress right then and there. Also, don't overwhelm yourself, okay? Do not overwhelm yourself. I liked only trying on like a certain dress, like a certain style, but like if you wanna go on and go in and try on different styles and have fun with it, do that. You are spending a lot of money on your dress. 
do that if you want to, okay? Like, just have fun with it. It's a fun time, it's a good time, and yeah, just have fun with it. If you've already gotten married, or if you've already chosen your dress and all that stuff, leave your tips and tricks down below. I just love hearing just about weddings and stuff. I love talking about weddings. I love this industry, I just think it's so fun. So excited, I'm so, so excited. Um, I guess the next video in this series Actually, I won't say what the next video in the series is. You guys are just gonna have to subscribe and wait and see what the next video in this series is gonna be. That is it. I do not wanna make this video any longer than it needs to be. Ask me any questions you may have down below. I might answer them in my next wedding video. Forget anything, I'll leave it in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>